Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hello dear, let's go see what's in the fridge. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Groot Beer. Not Root Beer, but Groot Beer or Grut Beer. Before the German, the German purity law uh, of 1516, it was common practice to use any kind of different spices, herbs, fruits, and other plants to provide balance to beer. Hops was not uh, yet well known at this point in time. Root beer has its roots in many cultures, and each culture has its own special ingredients. Uh, this beer here, guys, uh, I've never had one of these beers before. And according to what I have here, style is Scottish Groot, or Grut. Uh, ancient Herbal Ale. It says 4.60 on the ABV here. I don't think it's on the bottom anymore. Yeah, it is right on the bottom here. 4.6. Uh, food pranks of this. It says meats, poultry, and game. Glassware is Pint, Becker, the Tumbler, the Sidell, the Stein. Um, this is created by Dr. Fritz Bream of the Domans Institute, brewed by West Upon and Domans. So, uh, West Upon does some good stuff, so uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about here in paperwork here. Uh, I got the glass, the pint glass today, guys, for this beer. This beer has a whole lot of garbage in the bottom of it that I am really not a big fan of. So I don't know if that's typical of uh, grut or grut beer, however it's pronounced, but I'm not a big fan of all that stuff floating around in the beer. So guys, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to try to get all that into the glass. I'm going to pour about half of this in there and let it settle back down there. I don't want all that stuff in my glass today. But I've never had one of these beers before. And I'm not a big fruity, herbly type of beer guy. So we're going to pour that in there and just give it a good taste. I mean, it looks like a macro lager in the glass. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Let's get a nose on it. Wow. Well, it has a, to me it has a little saison quality. It's got a little funkiness going on there. I am getting some lemon. I'm getting just a, a hint of, of a Belgian quality there too. A little grapefruitiness or something. Oh well. Low ABV. There's no date on the bottle. I don't know how old the beer is guys. Cheers. It's got all kind of spicy herbalness in there. I don't know what all the different spices they use. But it's got some spices that I've not ever tasted in a beer before. It has a hot spiciness when you first put it in your mouth. But then it, it cools down. Very different. I've never had a beer that tastes like this before. A lot of different herbs and spices were used in this beer. I can tell by the taste. No hops, I don't think. I don't have anything here on what it says. The hops, let's see here. And bay leaves and ginger and caraway and anise and rosemary. I mean, this is all kind of stuff that they brew with this beer here, guys. So there's all kind of. And then before hops, they had to they, they had to counteract the sweetness of the malt with something. And, uh, and this is what happened before hops was well known. Very interesting beer. It's just a shame it's got so much of the stuff floating around it. And I'm sure it's probably nothing that's going to hurt you, but I just don't like it. I bet so. Yeah, it's gonna, I'm going to get some in here now. 
some particulates. And that's probably some of the herbs and spices that they use. Evidently it's not filtered. Because it does have a cloudiness to it. Very strange smell. I don't believe I, I well, I don't know. Now that I'm <laughs> known to hops, uh, I, I, this was probably uh, a delicious beer before. If I had never had a, a hoppy beer. Very interesting, guys. Well, I'm going to let one of them the other have tasted too, and uh, I don't know how much more of it I'm going to sip on, but not my beer, but it uh, tastes rather interesting. I'm glad I, glad I tried it. I just wish it didn't have all that stuff in it. Be right back. All right, guys, I got it all pulled into the glass here. As you can see, it is very cloudy now. Very cloudy with a lot of particulates floating around in it. It's a chunky beer, guys. Very odd taste. It does not taste like beer. It's almost like ginger ale and something else mixed with it. Like a weak orange juice and ginger ale mixed together. It doesn't taste like beer. It's got a herbally lemony spiciness to it. So, uh, Well, I'm going to let the other half sip on it and see what she thinks. And Not blowing my hair back, but of course I don't have any hops in it. And I'm a hop head. Stick around. Hi guys, I'm back. Not impressed with this. I'm glad I've been introduced to hops. <laughs> if I'd never had a beer with hops in it, this may be okay, but it's not doing it for me. It's just, it's too far out of the norm. It's just way too thin and watery. Why don't you? You see, it's almost like like a third, a third saison, a third ginger ale, and a third orange juice mixed together. Yeah, didn't do it for me, guys. And this comes with uh, pretty good marks. So not, they're not going to get it for me. This is definitely not a very pleasurable beer for me. Uh, it doesn't have hardly any taste other than the, the fizzy off. I mean, as it warmed up, uh, I was a little more impressed with it right out of the bottle than I am now that it's warmed up, and it's. Uh, not doing it for me. Guys, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's, it's a 5. It's a B-. minus. I'm sure it's, it's done with good stuff, uh, but it's definitely not my style. I did not appreciate it. My palate, <laughs> my palate it evidently is not expanded enough to appreciate this beer. So, uh, would not seek it out again, guys. Great Beer has this at 90 overall and 93 in the style. So that tells you a lot of people like this beer. I am not one of them. Like, more like Pumpkin from Southern Tier. Man, a lot of people think that's the best thing since sliced bread. And it just don't, it don't do nothing for me. I think it's way too buttery. This, uh, this rating from, uh, from Beer Advocate on this one is 86, which is in their good range. So, uh, I'm, I'm afraid my grade is, is, a, is a, a little below that. So, uh, it's just a hair off of being a C, which is an average beer. And I don't know it's not an average beer, but... Just didn't do nothing for me, guys, on this one. So I'm kind of glad it's uh, it's over with. And like I said, uh, I would not seek it out again. So with that being said, if you've had this beer, you liked it, loved it, didn't like it, uh, didn't do nothing for me, guys. Uh, that's a bad taste in my mouth. Now i got to have a real beer. I'm going to go see what's in the fridge. Join me tomorrow. See you then.